Good morning. There we go. There we go. How's everyone this morning? Uh, what are we on? I don't even know the day of lockdown, but um, from what I'm reading in the newspapers, it's uh, it's likely to be a bit longer than um, 21 days. And uh, there was a very interesting report about it possibly being 50% of strategists and people thinking about it think it'll be longer, 50% chance of it being extended, and then some other options of it having various uh, levels of lockdown so that some things will return to normal, but there will still be a lot of um, restrictions in place. Regardless of all of those things, uh, I think all of our reality has changed so fundamentally and we're learning to do life in a whole different way. And as I said yesterday, unlearn uh, many of the things that have brought us up to that point and relearn so many more. Um, and some days we will be on top of the world <laughs> and loving the isolation and on other days we'll be traumatized and um, panicked and uh, completely uh, insecure and uh, all our moorings may seem to have been uh, come apart and that we are adrift but uh, the reality is is that that is very normal and um, we all process those things in our own ways and, uh, and for me, it's just lovely to be able to be here and um, share one or two thoughts around a painting uh, that I've done that might speak into something uh, of what we're going through. So today's picture is, uh, is a painting that was inspired by a scene from a market in, uh, in Raja Bazaar. Raja Bazaar is a massive bazaar on the way to Ralpindi as you leave Islamabad. And when I went to go uh, climb up the Beltor Glacier, I spent a few days in in Pakistan, in the capital, you fly into Islamabad, and um, and this is the little picture, and it's called. Um, uh, let me get it there. It's called uh, All in a Day's Work. What I love about this picture, and why I wanted to share it this morning, is um, is it just, you know, one of the things about dealing with this uh, this crisis, this pandemic, is uh, that I speak about, that I'm passionate about, is is having to have creativity. And one of the first steps when I'm teaching my students who want to learn how to draw is that they've got to draw what they see and not what they think they see. And um, and so often our preconceptions about what's happening, all the ideas in our heads, all our logic and reasoning are giving us one image, one picture. And uh, whereas observing, really taking time to be still means that you notice, say for example, in this image that the little girl with the um, with the dress on maybe addressing a brother or a cousin or or someone or fixing his buttons before he sells his bananas have a look at her shoes that they are way too big and uh, if you just begin to meditate on that that she's she's maybe doesn't have shoes and she's borrowed shoes from an elder brother or elder family member and, uh, and you begin to observe, and then by observing that, you realize that, okay, so maybe she doesn't have her own shoes. Why wouldn't she have her own shoes? And there they are sitting on a box, and uh, it's an upturned box, and there's a friend nearby whose shoes are too small, possibly, the guy with the red shirt. And uh, well, as you observe these things, it's almost like our hearts become a little bit... Uh, saved from our own worries and concerns, and you begin to engage in other people's stories. And uh, and that can sometimes be like one of the most beautiful therapeutic uh, ways of dealing with crisis is to, is to be a blessing to others, is to put one's own issues on hold for a minute and take some time to really observe, really look, what are you seeing in other people? What are you really noticing? Do they need an encouraging word? Do they need money? Do they need perspective? Do they need correction lovingly? Do they need um, advice? You know, there's just so much that we sometimes miss in terms of community because we're so busy. I'm so busy often uh, that I'm, I'm almost like a, we've been, I suppose you can think of it like um, racehorses on a track with their blinkers. They're just going. We've all been on this human rat race and suddenly everyone's blinkers and the boundaries the constraints of the race course have changed completely. Now everyone's free to, to, to choose what to do with their time. And so I leave you with this thought, you know, what, 
all in a day's work. What does your day look like at the moment? And uh, again, fill it at least a little part if you can with um, being still and just looking, just being present in the moment of this time. Now, that's the key thing about observing and drawing is that you can't draw something if you're drawing from perceiving from things from life, you can't draw them unless you're present there at the time. It doesn't help you what you're thinking. You've just got to be looking. And so I want to just say have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.